how someone has to adapt in order to be accepted or feeling accepted in a certain way. So, in a different culture. In a different culture. I, I think that being able to assimilate into a different culture, it's not only necessary, but it is a must if a person is to survive and thrive in a different culture. If you do not assimilate part of that culture to me, you will always be an outsider. And so assimilation, as far as culture is concerned, because it includes language, you know, music and attitudes and values. And so if you're going to live in a country and going to be part of that country, assimilating their culture is a must. So that's my opinion about that. It's a good experience, uh, like especially if you're, you know, exploring and you want to learn the culture of someone else, and maybe you want to pick up some of their customs too. I think cultural I like. assimilation is a biggie because a lot of times when you're blending different cultures together, it's like, what do you blend? What do you keep? And what do you take out? And so a lot of times people are going to be really divided about that. And other times people will say, well, why did you leave that? Why didn't you take this? And why? So a lot of, there's a lot of controversy. But I do know when you do cultural assimilation, it takes a really long time, especially for it to stick. I feel that cult different cultures should uh, feel free to come in the United States and uh, express their vision for world peace. Is that everybody has a big potluck dinner with foods from the different culture, because everybody likes to eat. Food from different culture, everybody's happy. So keep the culture, bring it over here, expand the mind. I think I agree, especially uh, like coming from a Mexican culture. Uh, I feel that when I actually go and visit Mexico, I feel more Mexican, if that makes sense. Uh, when here in America, like there's so many different cultures that you tend to forget your own sometimes. Divided. Well, I personally am divided. I mean, I am Irish Hungarian. That's my ethnic background. However, um, I identify culturally as an American. However, as an American, we have so many different cultures involved it's really difficult to choose one, and especially as a white female, if I say like I'm doing my hair in cornrows because I want to wear my hair in cornrows, I will then be accused of cultural assimilation from something that's not even part of my own culture. So yeah, I can see that, but going back to Ireland or going back to Hungary, the problem is, is that I'm not one of them. So in order to understand like Irish culture, I'm gonna to have to live there for a while, but it's not really truly really going to be mine. So I'm really divided about that. Uh, there was this one time, it had never happened to me before, and it was super shocking. So a lady, I was working as a cashier, and the, it was a white lady, I don't know if that makes any difference, <laughs> sorry. Um, so she was trying to explain something to me, and I was trying to understand her just so I could help her, and then she said, "Do you not know Spanish? Uh, do you not know English?" And I was just like, <sighs> I got so mad, but you know, I'd like breathe. Yeah. And I was like, I do. I'm just trying to help you. So, yeah. So it was, it was shocking. Like, she just thought I didn't know English yeah. just because I look Mexican. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah, like, you said, like people are like being forced to forget their culture and adapt completely to a new one. It's like forget about things from your past and just because you're in a new place you have to completely you know, conform to everything that you're learning all of a sudden. I think one of the downsides like um, is when they're when you the older the older people that are coming over you know it's like they have to they've lived this whole way their whole life and then be expected to just kind of drop everything and adapt to our culture. Okay. Right? I, I don't like that. Yeah. Um, one year, every year at my elementary school, we had like a cultural international day. And I decided to do Hungary. 
and um, the people were okay with me making strudel, which is a dessert, it's really good. Um, but the clothing, people were sitting there like laughing hysterically about the clothing and everything else like that. Um, but again, because I've got this, I have like really no true culture, I guess. Um, when I try to like fit in with somebody else's culture, sometimes I get the eye. It's like, what are you doing? You're trying to act like us. And I'm like, okay. But people laugh at my Spanish all the time. Ethnic identity is usually like basically where your own, your ancestry is from. Um, culture identity can, isn't always necessarily ethnic based. It could be the group of people who you hang out with. Um, like teachers on campus, certain of us, like the history department, we have a culture. And if you're not a history department person, it's kind of like you're from English or something, you come over, we're like, here are you. Um, and in other time, like my medieval group, there's a definite culture. So culture can be like, I mean, it could be small groups of people, it could be a large group of people. Um, so it kind of depends on, you know, and you're able to blend and flow from culture to culture to culture. It's just when you bring stuff from one culture into another, like you're trying to talk to your parents about something that you do at school and they have no idea what the heck you're talking about. Um, that's because it's miscommunication in culture, so that's why usually as adults don't understand you youngins with all your slang and your LOLs and your email. So I think ethnic is more maybe like your ethnicity, right? Like, oh, I'm Mexican or Hispanic. Uh, but cultural, like even in Mexico, there's so many different parts yeah. of Mexico with different cultures. Yes. So ethnicity, it's more like, oh, we're all Hispanic, we're all Mexican. Um, but um, the culture, like even if you're from Jalisco or from Puebla, very different cultures, even though we're all from like, the same state. So there's an, an, an ethnicity may have different cultures with them. So, for instance, you know, Latinos is an ethnic group, but within Mexicans have a different culture, Salvadorans behave differently, you go to the Caribbean, the Cubans and the Puerto Ricans, so that's the difference between, to me, uh, the ethnic and the, uh, the cultural difference. But people laugh at my Spanish all the time. Because 